Hello everybody, this is the Starshows guy, and today we're talking about the engineering of the tallest detached core building in the world, Hanking Center Tower. Due to the pandemic, construction of skyscrapers has diminished in the US, since less office spaces are needed in the future. But in China, the construction of skyscrapers is still booming. Located in Shenzhen, China, the Hanging Tower is a mixed-use building with a height of 177 feet or 359 meters and 70 floors, five of which are underground. Also, there are three refugee floors at the top of the tower added for fire safety. The design phase took two years from 2012 to 2014 and the construction phase lasted six years from 2014 to 2020 with a soft opening in September 2020. The total area for the entire tower is estimated to be 1.8 million square feet or about 167,000 square meters. As you can see here, the building is made of two components, the main building and the detached core or the offset core. Those two components are connected by a series of sky bridges and structural framing as you can see. So what is a core? And why is it needed for high-rise buildings? The core is usually a square or rectangular reinforced concrete tube located inside the building. It is made of concrete walls that usually has openings for accessing elevators and is typically placed in the middle of the building. However, it can be also offset or even completely detached, which can lead to a better use of floor space. The structural reason why a core is needed is that it aids the building's structural stability and limits deflection at the top of the building due to wind pressure. Having an offset core is not a new concept in structural design as it was done with a perimeter core for the inland steel building in Chicago with a height of 323 feet or 101 meters to provide a column-free space since 1958. However, the hanging tower core is not only taller, but also even farther detached with a gap of 35 feet or about 10.5 meters. Only a few modern towers seem to have a detached core due to modern building regulations governing the need for fire stairs near occupied space. The detached core also enabled an open floor space and facilitate HVAC and maximized daylighting. To design the Hanking Tower, the design team used rapid prototyping and CNC machining to determine the feasibility of each iteration. Also, the team created a model of the tower and its surrounding to understand how it would look like relative to its neighbors. The idea of a detached core was suggested by the architects and made possible by the structural engineers. The team designed a mega steel braced frame structure for a tropical climate where typhoons and earthquakes pose challenges for skyscrapers. All floors have 270 degrees views east, west, and south, with only the northern view where the core connects to the tower being obstructed. Also, there are two smaller supplementary elevator cores inserted on the northern edge of the main tower, providing additional structural stability and additional modes of transportation. Although engineers use steel for its ductility to meet seismic code restrictions, the presence of significant wind pressure in the area was a major design challenge. The wind loads in Shenzhen location on the South China Sea are severe, with typhoons often raging between May and December, meaning the need for designing for twice the amount of wind load present in Miami. Extensive wind tunnel testing as well as non-linear performance based seismic design studies were done to verify the performance of the tower. Also, columns are placed far from the center of the tower to resist overturning compressive and tensile forces created by the wind loads. While concrete structural systems offer twice the lateral stiffness of steel structures, the whole team favored steel for its strength and compactness despite it being more expensive in China than concrete. The engineers decided to have columns that have a concrete center with steel plates enclosing them. This composite solution allowed the columns to be heavier than steel alone, but lighter and smaller than concrete alone. This reduced material quantities, column sizes, and costs. 
There are other design choices that help resist seismic and wind forces. Not only are the main tower and the detached core linked by the pedestrian bridges at every floor, but also there are horizontal diaphragms composed of beams and diagonal bracing on every fourth level. Those diaphragms act like floor slabs linking the two structures, which, which help resist seismic and wind forces. It is worth noting that the hanging center is not only the world's tallest offset core, but also the most offset core building above a height of 250 meters, where the core is located 10.5 meters away from the perimeter of the building. The hanging tower is one of the most sophisticated buildings not only in structural and architectural engineering, but also in terms of energy performance. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. See you next time!